Welcome to Imaging at Olympic Park. This new state-of-the-art medical imaging and treatment facility has been optimised for diagnosing and treating conditions of the musculoskeletal system. This video will briefly explain what we do for a CT-guided facet joint injection. What we do. There are many ways to treat conditions of the musculoskeletal system. Your doctor has recommended a CT-guided facet joint injection. This involves the injection of cortisone and local anaesthetic inside the small joints found in the neck or lower back. Cortisone is a powerful anti-inflammatory and pain relieving medication that has been used to treat patients successfully for many years. Why we do it? Facet joint injections are performed to relieve back pain and muscle spasm. The procedure will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. We use CT scanning to accurately assess the state of the facet joints and to accurately deliver the injection. Our CT scanner has 64 slices to optimise the anatomy. Precise delivery of cortisone will maximise its effect and avoid any potential complications. How we do it. Our radiographer or nurse will call you through to the CT section of the department where you may be asked to change into a gown but leaving your undergarments on. Our nurse will ask some questions regarding your medical history and possible allergies, discuss the risks and possible complications. Complications of a CT-guided facet joint injection are uncommon, but do include bruising, infection and local soft tissue injury. Rarely facial flushing can occur, but this is not serious and almost always settles down within a few days. You will be asked to sign a consent form. A CT scan is a safe and painless examination. You'll be asked to lie flat on your tummy on the CT table. The table moves through the donut-like hole of the CT scanner while an X-ray beam rotates around your body. A computer then manipulates this data to form an anatomical image. These images are then used to assess the facet joint anatomy and plan for needle placement. A doctor trained in CT-guided facet joint injections will be called upon to perform the procedure in a safe and careful way. He will clean the skin before carefully placing a needle inside the facet joint. The radiographer may need to take several pictures using the CT scanner along the way. One or more facet joints may be injected at the same time depending on the recommendation of your referring doctor. Infection control is important to us and we make sure the procedure is done with a sterile technique. Our facility and technique are compliant with and have been approved by the Department of Health Services. After my injection. After the injection, you'll be asked to remain in the department for a minimum of 15 minutes. You'll be given a drink and something to eat. It is recommended that patients rest comfortably for the rest of the day and not engage in physical activity for the following 48 hours. The local anaesthetic can last for up to eight hours. Patients often feel numbness or heaviness. When the anaesthetic wears off, symptoms may return until the cortisone becomes effective. The cortisone can take up to seven days to work. It is also important to follow up on your doctor's instructions regarding your rehabilitation program and follow up. Complications are uncommon, but should they occur, please contact Imaging at Olympic Park, your referring doctor or general practitioner. Thank you for attending Imaging at Olympic Park. We hope your CT guided facet joint is successful. Remember, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask.